Hi, I'm Kimberly Walston. Welcome on in to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without that quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about the fatal side effects in the controversial cancer drug Avastin, as well as an amazing invention called the skin gun, which we promise is far more brilliant than whoever named it. Avastin has been in the news repeatedly recently because of controversial nature of the cancer medicine. It has been approved for lung cancer, kidney cancer, and brain cancer, but now the FDA is saying it should not be used to treat breast cancer because the risks outweigh the modest benefits. Avastin has not been proven to extend survival for breast cancer patients, only lengthening the time they go without symptoms getting worse. In studies, it turned out that Avastin can cause death in a little over 1% of patients who take it. In lung cancer, where survival rates are improved fairly dramatically, the risk is acceptable. But when you are getting no increase in actual survival rate, then it becomes something you might not want to be prescribed. As with every hot new drug that comes off the shelves, you have to be ready to weigh the risks and the rewards. At least the FDA is making this one easy for breast cancer patients. Just don't take it. It just might be the decision that gives you a little more time. In lighter news, the skin gun is finally here. Don't know what that is? Well, the title is a pretty big giveaway. It's a computer-controlled airbrush that sprays skin stem cells over a burn, helping to treat it. But not only does it treat the burn, in early practices, the affected areas are completely and seamlessly healed. The technology has been developing for quite some time and was first used as a regenerative medicine for the military. The cells, called karyocytes, are extracted from the patient's skin and stimulate healing. In 2008, they tested the gun on 16 burn patients, with every one of them showing excellent healing after just one or three weeks. Skin grafting, the old go-to, takes just as long but requires three times as much skin and often results in patchwork scarring. So the skin gun could be a huge advancement for those dealing with traumatic burn wounds. Let's just hope they make a marketing whiz name after it hits the market. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.